All right, guys. Well, this is kind of a different video for me, but it's something that I've wanted to try for quite a while. And just to let you know, all this video was filmed the Saturday after the Ontario government started to ease restrictions related to the big V, as my friend Proto Man says. But yeah, basically I wanted to go out and do a toy hunt. I saw recently that the new Cyberverse Tiny Turbo figures were out. So that's the main thing that I will be looking for today. Here we are at our first location, which is Walmart. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go take a look to see what they have. So the first thing I noticed here in Walmart is they have these enter and exit signs here. So you're supposed to go all the way up the aisle there and then come all the way down the aisle here. And here, right by the exit, is where the actual transformer section is here as I zoom in. So yeah, I will see you guys in a minute after I walk all the way up there and down here. All right, so here is the transformer section in our first location, our first Walmart. A lot of uh, older cyber stuff. We do see some Earthrise stuff and yeah. One of the first things that caught my eye was that they do actually have some of these Netflix War for Cybertron figures. There's a Megatron. And this is the one that if I actually had to pick one up, I would probably pick this one up, Hotlink. And the tag says that they are $30 here. So I think that's the same price as like a normal regular Voyager, but this one obviously comes with two Target Master, Battle Master dudes. But not really here for that. Megatron looks nice. Not a fan of the scratches and stuff on him, but the video here really doesn't do him justice. Yeah, he comes with these little two dudes. Kind of wish he didn't have the scratches on them, but I'll pass for now. They have a grapple, and that's about it. They have... I forget his name. And let's see, they got some hoists, some hoists, some cliff jumpers, and some wheel jacks at the back there. Yeah, not much to go by. They do have some cyber stuff. Oh, and here's what I was looking for. Oh, wait, this is open. And I think that's open. And that one's open. All of these are open. And the figures are just out here. Okay, uh, let's get out of here before they think that I did this. Also, another thing before we uh, leave Walmart here. Uh, the last time I was actually in Walmart, uh, I was looking for a handkerchief and they were sold out at that time and it looks like they're still sold out uh, obviously people using handkerchiefs as masks but i don't know if they've since restocked and then sold out again or they just haven't restocked so thought i'd point that out another thing here uh you always see these big bins of dvds and sometimes cds you'd think with the whole crisis going on right now they would have them you know nice and neatly organized I was definitely not going to stick my hands in here out of fear of, you know, catching the big V. But they did have some bins that were organized nice and neatly. You know, you can plainly see that, you know, there's Big Bang Theory, Westworld, The Arrow Show, Supergirl, Flash, Rick and Morty. I don't know why they didn't, didn't organize those big bins. But anyways, that's that's been a big complaint of mine for a long time, even before this whole, you know crisis but just thought i'd show you guys that before we move on to our next location here which is the toys r us slash babies r us yes in canada we still have toys r us and just as an aside that is where the target used to be but obviously target didn't do so well in canada but yes actually on google they said this toys r us was closed and i only came here to show you guys that it was closed but as you can tell from that door opening and closing there. So without further ado, let's go take a look in Toys R Us. And here we are. This is the Toys R Us Transformers section. Obviously much larger than the Walmart Toys R Us section. Or Walmart Transformers section. 
Walmart's not going to have a Toys R Us section. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately, a lot of this stuff was basically the same stuff that they had before they closed. I think the only thing of note there is that cancelled uh, Hascon exclusive reflector set. Uh, but I already had that, so... Oh yeah, they also gave me one of these carts for social distancing, so yeah, I guess I'm supposed to bump people with the cart to get them to keep 6 or 12 feet apart, or however far apart you're supposed to be. But yeah, not too much here in the way of uh, what I'm looking for. They do have some cyber stuff, but not the tiny turbo changers that I was looking for. I also didn't notice this until re-watching the video, but it looks like Toys R Us actually has some signs in there telling you not to go this way. So it seems just like how they have it at Walmart, where you're supposed to go up one aisle and down another, you're supposed to do the same thing here. But as you may be able to tell, I unfortunately went the wrong way here and didn't notice the signs. But uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this one, I think. They did have some Earthrise stuff, but I can wait for a sale on that. Also, I thought I'd show you their small game section here because there's a couple of new changes that I haven't noticed here. Uh, for one thing, as you can see, there's uh, they have Sega Genesis Minis. Let me know if you think that's worth picking up. But yeah, they have these little tags here for the actual consoles themselves instead of having them out. And they also have controllers, but the controllers are no longer in the boxes. And that, yep, yeah, the Xbox controller boxes are empty too. So I was wondering, like, were people stealing the controllers? But yeah, that's it for this game section. You have the big wall of mandatory pop figures. And yeah, just a small game section here. I did stop by Best Buy and took a pick, but uh, unfortunately they're not open open. They're just doing uh, pickup. And uh, I don't think they actually have any Transformers anyways. I think I was just mainly looking for video game stuff and just kind of seeing what's going on there. But thought I'd include them anyways. Maybe I'll check them out in a future video if you'd like me to check out video game stuff as well as Transformers. And here we are at the main Toys R Us in town. This is a bigger Toys R Us and it was here first. But here's something I didn't notice at the other one. They have these little pickup stall things. Again, I don't think they had that at the other one, but uh, it, at least it's good that they have them. So let's head on inside and check them out. And here is the other Toys R Us Transformer section. They have a lot of these masterpiece figures. There's a Jetfire, lots of Jetfires. There is Omega Supreme, still at full price. I think I'll wait for a sale on him. Some clearance stuff. Some more Cyber stuff down here. Some more Cyber stuff up here. Again, I believe this was a lot of the same old stock they had before they closed. Uh, there's a Bludgeon there and a Jazz from Cyberverse. Uh, but yeah, not too much interesting here. It looks like they do have some tiny turbo changers, but I believe they're the previous wave. And again, yeah, just another pan buy. Uh, I believe I'm going to try and get the price tag in focus there. Yeah, I'd not going to drop 250 for Mega Supreme just yet. There's always a sale at Toys R Us. And as you saw, they have Master Train. I'll wait for him to go on sale as well. And yeah, they also have this end cap here. They have some of those evergreen figures, some more old Siege figures, and some movie figures. But yeah, that's going to basically do it for this Toys R Us section. And as you can see, they also had that sign there. And here we are at Walmart number two. And believe me, this Walmart certainly is number two. Because as we take a look at their Transformer section, it is all over the place. We have... A whole bunch of Transformers under here, these DC figures. There's just kind of a whole mess of different stuff. And there's some other Transformers figures just kind of scattered around over here. And yeah, this place is just like so disorganized. It's just a total mess. Uh, but they do have lots of these Netflix Voyager figures, but unfortunately, they are a mess too. Like, just look at this one. It has like a 
hole like poked into the top of it. I don't know even why. Like we're trying somebody trying to steal something. But yeah, I did not pick up anything at this Walmart, unfortunately. So that was going to be it for this video, but I decided that was not a good ending. So I ended up going to a third Walmart. So let's go check out this Walmart. All right, so here is this Walmart. They do have some stuff, but it looks to be pretty sparse here as well as we pan up. And uh, as we move over this way, you can see they did have some tiny turbo changers, but they're all sold out. Hopefully they'll restock. And they do have one Netflix Voyager, but it of course is the Megatron. So I was going to pick up Hotlink if they had him here, but as you can tell, they do not. So unfortunately for this video, there is no haul. Uh, if you see that piece of paper taped to the back wall, that is called a planogram, and I did check it out, and it does say done written on it. So I'm guessing that everything here is organized, or at least kind of organized where it should be. So hopefully they restock sometime soon, and maybe they'll have the uh, tiny turbo changers that I was looking for. But hold on, this video is still not done. After checking TFW and uh, seeing that apparently people were scalping Hotlink for quite a lot, like over like, I believe 80 or $90. Even places online like TF Source were selling him for that much. I ran back to the first Walmart where we were at to grab a Hotlink because I remember seeing them at $30. But then I decided to go check the price at one of those price checkers before I go up to the cash with him. And as you may see, if I ever scan it correctly here, he is actually $60, not $30. So yeah, I still could not justify it. Even though I said I was going to pick one up at that last store, I just could not justify $60 for a Voyager. So that's going to do it for this video. Let me know what you think. Should I do more toy hunting videos? Well, I guess they'd more specifically be Transformers hunting videos. I don't really buy too many other toy lines beside Transformers. But yeah, let me know what you think. Should I make this maybe a weekly show or monthly show? Let me know down in the comments. Remember to subscribe, like, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you guys next time.